Summer sun is nearly set, and now it's time for baseball at Petco Park in San Diego. Tonight, we get the week started with the first of four between the New York Mets and the San Diego Padres. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Ready on one and two. And, oh, we can't get out of the way of that one, so the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. So stepping in, Christopher Rizzolo, and what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Ligaris at the track. The wall. Gone! So it's a two-run shot to right center. 41st home run of the year for him. As the Padres have taken a two-to-nothing lead. When the leading MVP candidate steps into the box, I'm not sure it's wise to challenge him, especially with a pitch like this. But they do, and he makes them pay for. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The 0 1 pitch. Sharp ground ball to third. Oh, but it's thrown away at second. Stepping in now, Hector Sanchez. Hot shot down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Well, he really picked his teammate up right there with two outs and following a strikeout to get the base hit driver run in. That is really a special feeling. But, man, he really lifted his team up with that. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 3-0 San Diego. Oh, and he hung the slider here, and it's a towering drive out to deep left field. This ball is gone. A home run. And the Mets will cut the deficit now to 3-1. Mets draw a hair closer thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's the Padres three and the Mets one. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Cespedes is going back out of here. A solo shot and they add another. And the Padres have made it a four to one game. Here's the one and two delivery. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. It crashes off the Western Metal Building and it's out of here. And the Mets draw closer here. It's now a 4-2 ball game. Rafael Montero enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 50. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. Oh, man, he got hurt. His second pitch since coming in, and he serves one up. A reliever's worst nightmare and a big confidence boost to the lineup. Let's see if he can rebound. Hunter Renfro. Hunter. Renfro. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Ligaris going back, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. He's not going to complain, but he was thinking what the rest of us were thinking when that left is bad. Home run number two. Didn't quite have enough, so he has to be content with a double. First offering on its way. 
Fly ball heading for the alley. Conforto is after it, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And now a swing and a ball hit hard back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. Ooh, that ball 61. was close right there. Whizzed right by his ear. Matt, they always say Chuck and Duck. Well, that's an example of it right there. Ryan Shimp will look to provide a little punch off the bench as he'll hit with runners at the corners and one out in the inning. Slap hard the opposite way. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 7-2 ball game. So the base hit drives home their third run of the oh, inning and two. adds to number his seven. season total as we and check well, out the league leaders Margo. in RBIs. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. In quickly with it is Cespedes, and that'll force the runner to hold on at third base. Another first pitch hit. Man, they're going up there aggressive, looking for that first pitch fastball. He's struggling right now, and they are feasting. Ready for another chance? Christopher Rizzolo. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. Here comes the first pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Come on! It's a grand slam! So he will touch him all on the grand slam. His second home run of the game as they push this lead up to nine now. That's why he's a superstar the Grand Slam. You pay the price to watch him play, and when he comes through and does something special like this, it's worth the price of admission. And mercifully, the side is finally retired. The final damage here, 10 come to the plate, seven runs score. We're through six full. Padres lead it 11 to two. Liner toward right center and they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through in now Corey Spangenberg line toward right center and this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game and now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning well that's back to back singles and first and third so right here you got a pitch to get a strikeout and then the next hitter hopefully you get a double play you can get out of it but right here you got a pitch to get the strikeout to set up a chance to get out of this. Standing in now, Hector Sanchez. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. To second for one. On to first, a double play. Batter number eight, it certainly looked off. like they might have had Eric a big Aymar. inning cooking there with first and third and no outs, but the double play kind of kills it. They did get the run in, but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI. Padres able to pick up one on a couple of hits. Eighth inning coming up. The Padres lead it 12 to 2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The center fielder number 12. Right side hit hard. Spangenberg has it. Throw on to first, and the Mets are down to their final out. In the air to right center, calling for it. Renfro makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, the discussion around this game is real easy. It goes back to that big sixth inning when they put everything together. 
They really broke out there and just brought it home after that. 12 to 2, the final score in this ball game. The Friars get the win on the heels of four home runs. Luis Perdomo earns win number seven on the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. For this week in MLB Network.